Uh, someone asked me to explore the, the practice of I am sense or being sense. The experience of being, of beingness, can be easily discerned once you understand where and how to look, or, or more importantly, um, how not to, to search for it or look for it. So in this video, I'm going to guide you in recognizing the I am or being a sense, that sense of presence. Now, let's uh, consider a, a crucial distinction. The essence of being is remarkably simple and intimately close. However, it's, it's precisely that simplicity and proximity that makes it challenging to see, challenging to identify. We're accustomed to thinking in terms of uh, discovery, finding, learning, understanding, gaining knowledge in a certain way. And over time, we develop a habitual inclination towards this ceaseless seeking, typically uh, confined uh, within uh, thought and imagination. The seeking inherently involves uh, conceptualizing a, a different future. To grasp the essence of the I am or being sense, it's crucial to recognize that any concept of somewhere else or uh, an alternative possibility cannot be found in the present moment. This is precisely why identity becomes entangled with thoughts and concepts. So overcoming this entanglement serves as, as the, the, the doorway to, to awakening to this pure sense of being. So the, the initial step in this direction often involves uh, tasting this I am sense. So despite its simplicity and proximity, it's remarkably easy to overlook it. And this is due to the mind's per perpetual inclination to seek something that's beyond uh, the current moment or beyond one's mm, conceptualized existence. So the mechanism of the mind constantly seeking acts as a distraction, as a, it inhibits it. And this, this uh, distraction tends to capture attention early on, leading one to believe that using um, its descriptions will convey the I am sense. However, what I'm pointing to here is quite different. It transcends all that seeking, that movement. I'm directing attention away from what is the sense of self that we often take as a sense of self, that the self trying to make a discovery. Instead, I'm directing attention towards the fundamental primary sense of beingness, consciousness, or awareness. And that don't get caught up on the, the terms. I'm not pointing to terms as ideas. What I'm calling I am or consciousness is beyond uh, the term or the idea of it. So it's not about changing one idea or belief system for another. Instead, it's about seeing directly your essential being, your essential ground. So what, what lies right at the core of your being at this very moment? When I ask this, I'm not prompting you to, to think about it or formulate an answer. Instead, I'm, I'm encouraging you to, to just kind of look and see and then dwell there, inhabit it, recognizing that you're never, you've never been without this core. Never. This, this uh, I am or being sense is always and already there. So what I'm directing your attention to is the closest, most intimate experience of you before the initiation of any thoughts about who you are. And this is the basis of, uh, of the beginner's mind practice in Zen. It's this unchanging presence that exists before, during, and after the arising of thoughts. It's something you can't seek because it's the very act of seeking that blocks it. It's elusive to find if you're always looking out from it. 
It's a place you can't observe because doing so would require attempting to stand apart from yourself, which you can't do. I'm pointing to the sense of you um, from the perspective of this I am or beingness sense, letting go of the conceptualized you. And notice that the mind may attempt to analyze and interpret this statement, thinking it has to grasp an idea or questioning it. What I'm inviting you instead to do is step back into awareness of those thoughts without being identified with them. It's a complete of, a state of complete rest, the sense of being you, uh, the entity paying attention to these words, this space, the spaciousness itself, this knowing presence that can know that you are hearing words. Do you observe that the sense of knowing persists even in the absence of thoughts to, to think about? So direct your attention to that aspect. Notice the act of paying attention itself without any thoughts about it. So refrain from engaging in thoughts about what this is, the process, and if thoughts arise, you simply acknowledge them. They, they come out of the I am sense, the beingness, and you can inhabit, sense into the silent, still presence. While I can offer all kinds of further descriptions of the experience, it's important to recognize that these descriptions are not meant to be thought about, contemplated intellectually. Instead, they're just kind of observations about realizations that may emerge. And one characteristic is its boundlessness, limitless. There's no internal, external limits or boundaries. It's just pure awareness and knowing. And this knowing is the essence of your being as you are right now. It's akin to the ocean extending in every direction, deeply within, without, uh, encompassing everything. And I advise you to avoid actively seeking or testing your experience against all these descriptions I've given. These qualities may resonate with you once you rest in the presence, the sense of I am. So prior to reaching that, knowing, engaging with these descriptions may only lead to more confusion. It's just more thoughts. So disregard the descriptions if you find yourself, you know, thinking about it rather than, you know, sensing into um, the I am sense. It's paradoxically both still and moving with a, with a flowing and uh, luminous quality. Yet it pos possesses a deep pervasive stillness. We can come back to this sense of I am without attaching qualifiers like that. Again, more thoughts. Be careful about getting pulled into the description, the categories, the terms. I give you these, again, these descriptions to point you in the right direction. Another typical quality is neutrality. It's not mystical or otherworldly. It's just the presence of being. Some might label it in all these ways as equanimity or balance, clarity, but these are just facets of, of it. The key lies in the experience and the willingness really to continually return to it and dwell there. So letting go of any need to understand it, but instead dwelling there, letting go of the thoughts about it, allowing all the words, categories to dissolve. As you don't think about I am or think about I, just be the pure 
presence. It's something you can never not be because it's always and already there. It doesn't require any intellectual um, validation or figuring out. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the like button and I appreciate the subscriptions as well. Thank you.